Now, you go under contract. Here's what you do once you go under contract. Number one, get and sign your initial loan disclosures ASAP. A lot is riding on those initial loan disclosures being completed. So you want to sign them up front. Uh, if you have any questions or stuff needs to be changed, communicate that with your loan originator, but don't hold up the process. Number two, ensure all third party services like the appraisal, title, homeowners insurance, insurance, ensure all of that is ordered up front within a, a day or two of you going on the contract and it's ordered on a rush, meaning people need to move fast to get it done. Number three, communicate and respond quickly. Um, if so, if your loan originator or processor is reaching out to you in order to get you some information or get some questions answers or get some information from you, uh, I know you work, but do your best to respond. Go take a bathroom break, take a smoke break, uh, call them on lunch, do, do whatever you can in order to respond quickly and effectively. Uh, number four, uh, any items that are requested from you, um, maybe updated pay stubs, updated bank statement, whatever case may be, get it over as quickly as possible. Same day within a couple hours is ideal, but get it over as quickly as you possibly can. And last but not least, when you go on the contract or you're going through this process, never just say, I'll figure it out. Have the money already available. Have the income already figured out, right? Don't go in saying, oh, I don't like these lending guidelines. I'm going to try to argue back. It's not going to happen. You can't force banks to lend you money any, uh, any other way than a person walking up to you and trying to force you to lend them money. This is Nelson Thompson, a.k.a. The Mortgage Sensei, powered by Edge Home Finance. If you like this video, please follow, like, comment, tell your friends and family about my page here, and I'll see you on the other side of homeownership.